Welcome back, travelers. We've talked a lot about version 4.8, but this time we'll talk about all the details about version 5.0. We'll introduce this patch and give you all the information you need. New character information. Rumors of rerun, new features, and about the Natlin map. First of all, in version 5.0, two new five-star characters and one new four-star character will appear. It's exciting, I introduced the character's performance in Constellation in another video, so I'm interested. If you have one, please check it out. To put it simply, her damage may be comparable to Nouvellet. I predict that the male five-star character will be a four-star character due to grass-based sovereignty, and the Iwacho character will probably be a comforting character. This is not confirmed, but the characters that appeared in the official PV Low Wattage Main Story Chapter PV Footprint trailer have been released early in their respective regions, so we can confidently predict that the official PV will be released soon. But before that, some awesome characters in the this patch. But do you have enough primogems for them? Well, I sure have not enough. I need crystals for the banners, and that's all, thanks to Lootbar.gg. It's a top-up platform for games like Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. Big Name Dukaja and Tevia Times are also using our platform for crystals. It saves you up to 20% of the actual in-game price for every item available and an extra 5% off for your first purchase. And the process is super easy. Just go to lootbar.gg, select Genshin Impact, select the pack you want to purchase, then just type your UID, select your region, and that's all you need. Just tap on top up now, select your preferred payment method, and successful, you have your crystal. And if you do want to top up in your account, we are getting double the currency for our first in-game purchase, that I highly recommend you check out lootbar.gg through the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Information will be released on July 15th, Next, let's talk about reruns. In version 5.0, the reruns of Gods will begin, and Zhongli will be rerun first. However, there is a possibility that Venti will appear first. Also, the Shen and Ryathus Li will also be included in Fontaine's patch. It wasn't rerun in 2025, so I'm looking forward to its appearance in 5.0. Another exciting news is that stepping into Bennett will unlock the Traveler's performance abilities, the main character is a 5-star unit, so Hoyoverse has great long-range performance. You'll have a lot of fun with Soria, a new Pokémon-like creature. There's also information about the map. According to Goba, the map in version 5.0 is just as vast as the small map in version 3.1. It also introduces new exploration features. This change puts water and ice characters in the spotlight and introduces new creatures. And according to Foul, a reliable source, it is possible for characters to reach level 100 in version 5.0. This may allow you to max out attachments to level 15. In addition to the normal materials, you will need a new spiral reward material. This will allow you to directly raise your character from level 90 to 100, but there is no intuition level. However, this will be a difficult task. Rumor has it that only one character can be raised, it is said that it will take three spiral cycles to reach level 100. That's it for all the exciting details of version 5.0. What are you most looking forward to? Let me know.